Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, I am the bikini star. How do you know it's a bikini star? Okay, so part of it is I do have tags on these things. Actually, it was really kind of funny because we were doing the Emmy speech yesterday. Somebody said, do you know, there's a tag on what you're wearing. Oh, I said, oh yeah. They're like, I really like this piece. They said, well, read the tag and I'll tell you who it's from. <laughs> they're going, oh, oh, you know, why there's a tag. So anyway. So part of it, it is Emmy week with all the gifting sweets and as you can see, a new swimsuit. This one is by an eco company. This one's called Eco Swim. And as you can imagine, this swimwear is made from eco products. But meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually this time it probably is because the Republican donors are pissed off with Romney. His co-chairman quit his uh, quit the thing because they cannot get this man to stand up for anything. He wins a battle over saying that the, that, that which was the truth that 47 percent of the people out there that don't pay taxes are not going to vote for the Republicans to begin with. Mm -hmm. So we have to win the hearts and minds of those people that are paying the taxes. And they say I left night again. Well. This is totally erroneous and wrong because these people do pay sales taxes and they pay property taxes. The thing is, if you listen carefully, from flip flop Obama, they are not paying federal income taxes. A hundred and forty some million people are not paying federal income taxes. Mm -hmm. And the majority, and five percent of the people pay almost all of the taxes, but they're not, they're, it's, not, it's not being fair. Well, yeah. As Romney said in his speech, it totally is unfair. He said that 5% are paying the taxes for 47%, and the 47% should start paying federal income taxes of some sort. Mm. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't even stand up for what he said. He had to come out and explain it. And basically, a lot of them are tired of taking him to the woodshed because he, he, won, the, he won the battleground again when, he, when they found out that Obama is actually on multiple times saying that he believes in redistribution as a means to equalize the economy. And Obama admits that it was a terror attack on the embassy, but not planned. Let's see, what was it? They, uh, the guy didn't die like they said he did. He was chased to the straight house where they got him. Let's see, they tortured him, they sexually abused him, they drug him through the streets, they, I think they said they beheaded him. But uh, that wasn't planned. You know, it wasn't planned, and then, as everybody knows, in Libya, you know, basically uh, what it was was they, like they said, well, you know, the Libyans are like those people that basically carry Bibles in their cars and rifles on the back of their wind, on the back of their back window shut, because they all carry our RTVs and grenade po grenade launchers in their back pockets when they go out. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. They said they're so common that people just carry them around. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not common. They're basically stolen from the stores of what well, They're not finding out where all those weapons went that Gaddafi had that were taken. And Romney, Obama cares about struggling Americans, but can't help them. Well, they're okay. This is another where they said they want Romney. They, they basically they said the guy's got to get off his ass and start on the attack. You don't tell people, well, he cares. Well, he doesn't care, folks. He doesn't care. Okay. If you support the president, he'll throw you under the wheels of a bus if he needs to, if it's expedient to him. He cares about no one but re-electing Obama. They all, you know, sooner or later will. Yesterday, we'll, we'll talk, flip flop Obama to Bill O'Reilly. Oh, everybody in the whole goddamn universe knows that I was a socialist. You were? I am. You are? That's right. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. And options limited to finance a Chicago teacher's contract. Yeah, the, they have no money in Chicago. They're a billion dollars in deficit this year. The state is broke, the city is broke, so he gave them a wage increase higher than what would have been recommended. And he gave them all kinds of other perks, which means they have to rehire fired teachers before they can hire new teachers, which means, okay, I love this one. 40% of the people in fourth grade can't read, write, and do arithmetic. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and six out of every ten never graduate from the Chicago school system. And they're putting the teachers back that were fired because they couldn't pass the test about you know training kids. They're all going back into the system again. And the people that were trying to hire that actually want to teach people to learn are being uh, released. So. Oh. And 
an Obama redistribution audio clip truncated by the GOP? Well, I've heard it. I mean, I, okay, if you haven't heard the entire play, play on one of the stations, one of the channels friend of the president, then you're living in an alternate universe. All they did was, to, the Republicans just simply got cut to the part that says, they're telling about how he thinks that money, ha you know, that basically it's not a fair system and that, some, that a lot of people are being left out. And he believes in redistribution of wealth to equalize everything, which says exactly what the Republicans that no one was listening to five years ago said about this president. So truncating it, it you know, um, it, it, you're not misphrasing anything. If you misstate something, that's one thing. But they're they're making excuses up for this president as they always do. When he gets, what happens is, he he lives and dies by the internet. And well, I've never once uh, called anybody unpatriotic. He's the 43rd president of this nation, and since they since the first of the year, he's already said that word 43 times about his opponents. About the Republicans, people, rich people, well, you're not patriotic if you don't pay tax, more taxes. Mm -hmm. But um, that he's 43 times. That, but see, you know, I guess he figures, well, he'll, he'll be the last president in this nation because the 43rd president will be, as long as they control the Senate, and it looks like they will control the Senate because of none other than Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only service the guy had was he basically could raise money, and now the big donors are no longer going to contribute. And Obama, I'll work with Republicans if they agree to raise taxes. I know. They're, they're basically right now, but, well, the reason we're in this problem is because the Republicans won't agree to weigh ta raise taxes that will cover exactly five days of the president's spending. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's not right. They have to do more than five days of my spending. Five total days the tax raises will cover. The only way that you go, oh, Mr. President, the only way you can cover your spending is to increase the taxes to the 47% that do not pay federal income taxes. Well, they pay taxes, they pay property taxes, they pay sales taxes. It's not the same difference. You're only collecting federal income tax. Mm. And Obama inches ahead in key voter polls. Okay, but if you listen to the news this morning, Romney is basically collapsing. Well, no. Um, one percentage point here, two here, which means, okay, they, they're trying to point out to people, when Ronald Reagan beat Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan was behind by double digits at this time in the election. Mm. And then, then came uh, Jimmy Carter's... Uh, uh, October surprise and it finished him off. Well, Obama has already had it. Obama, you know, he basically, uh, this was not a terrorist attack. Oh, now that it's a terrorist attack. It had nothing to do with Al-Qaeda. Well, one of the guys that was let loose is an Al-Qaeda leader and he was in charge of it. And, uh, and these people were not, these people died instantly from the great attack. Well, no, they didn't. So, mm -hmm. but so it, 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 it's a, uh, with the president, it evolves. But um, don't worry, though, it will be George Bush's fault before the Obama administration gets done with it. Oh, and Obama inches ahead in key... Oh, actually, we already yeah. know that. 17 mutilated bodies found in central Mexico. I mean, you'd think that they were Muslims. Well, maybe they are Latin Muslims, though. Ah, Romney to unveil more aggressive campaign schedule. Well, they want the guy to start kicking ass. I mean, uh, uh, I mean... No one can believe this guy there. Take him to the woodshed, and then the very next day, well, I think the President of the United States really has great parts of his Obamacare that are good. Well, some of those parts that are good about Obamacare basically are going to cost people more money than what they originally said. And, and uh, we're, we're, talking at, we're talking that those people that basically are not paying for health care right now and are not paying for insurance, that are not paying tax, federal taxes, are going to get hit with a $1,200 fee for health care. And uh, since they don't pay taxes to begin with, that means somebody's going to have to pick up $1,200 for 140 million people. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> and the Winklevoss twins invest in social network companies. Oh, I saw that. It's an invitation-only social network company, mm -hmm. which means it hasn't a chance in this universe. It's, well, only if you're a multimillionaire and do this. That's when they're trying to do like a small world and then they were just starting to do another one. Yeah, well because it doesn't work because there's not enough people to make the system work. Mm. If they can't make Facebook work, why in the hell would you think you'd make something 
Okay, what we're going to do is it doesn't work the way it is, so we're going to start charging you people to use the system, and then more people will use the system because you're paying for what you were getting free before. Then they just quit the system. And bipartisan agreement, defense cuts are bad. Yeah, but the Republicans are responsible for the defense cuts because the Republicans won't raise taxes, which don't even come. Okay, if the Republicans raise the taxes the Democrats want, it covers... Uh, one month of military spending over the next five years. One month of military, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. All the taxes they would bring in over a decade covers one month. So if they'd have raised taxes, it made no difference. They still had to cut the defense spending. And Egypt announces breaching of the U.S. Embassy compound. Yeah, that's, they, they announced it. Would, they, they do admit it happened now. How many, they this do. is two weeks after the fact. They did admit that they got into the compound. Of course, they painted, there's big painted on the walls, they busted up all the stuff in the thing, but Egypt too is a, uh, well, they may be a friend of the United States, they may not be a friend of the United States, they may be an ally, may not be an ally, basically have admitted that it did happen. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Often when you don't use something a lot, you basically lose the ability to do it.